Here's how the air pen works with different types of ceramic glazes. The first thing that you do is to fill the cartridge with the glaze, and this particular one is uh, really a heavy bodied glaze. So squeeze the bottle into the cartridge, and one of the things you want to be certain of is that you don't have any type of air bubbles in the glaze. So be sure and tap the cartridge a couple of times before you put in the follower, and then the follower compresses the mixture down to the bottom of the tube. I'm using a green tip, which is a medium tip, and that's pretty standard for just about any type of glaze. The way that you work the air pen is to cover the hole that's on top of the pen with your fingertip, and it draws a line. Take your finger off of the hole, and it stops. So when you're doing text, like I'm doing here, you get used to an on-off rhythm that gives you a nice line, and in this case, nice text without blips and blobs at the start of each line. The air pen's great to be able to fill in small areas of any kind of a, an irregular bisque surface. There are other glazes that are flatter than this particular type of glaze, and here's an example called Easy Stroke by Duncan, and by varying the pressure of my finger over the hole that's on top of the pen, I can get a really nice non-mechanical looking line that goes from very thin to very thick. So if I want to fill in an area, I just hold the pen in one place for a longer period of time and I'm able to color in a shape. Another technique that I can use with the pen is to make a fairly thick line and then pull that line down into brush strokes with the tip of the air pen. And of course one of the big pluses of the air pen is that you don't have to worry about getting enough glaze in a brush to be able to make a line that looks even like a brush stroke because the pen gives you a consistent, constant feed of glaze on your ceramic piece. And again I'm just pulling that line to decorate this particular piece. Another glaze that I have here to try is called Concepts Glaze, and it's an underglaze, and uh, one to three coats, I think is what it says, but because you can vary the amount of glaze that you put on a bisque piece with the air pen, you can make those three coats in one application using the air pen. Here I'm just outlining the shape and then just coloring in the shape by holding the tip in one place to be able to put whatever amount of glaze that I'd like in that area. You can also work on a vertical surface so I don't have to upend this vase to be able to work on the sides of the vase. And the tip of the air pen lets you get into very, very intricate areas of irregularity. For example, if you have a piece of bisque with a patterned surface, the tip lets you get into all the nooks and crannies. And here's using this Concepts product to make thin to thick, non-mechanical looking lines. Here's a product I found several different uses for called Easy Stroke by Duncan. And it's a glaze that, that you can use for one application. It flows a little faster than some of the others, so I'm going to put a smaller tip on. The air pin comes with 14 different tips. and this is, uh, actually this glaze looks like, I think it looks like India ink. So it's great for signing pieces or for outlining shapes. And if you particularly like pen and ink work, you can use this glaze through the air pen to do some irregular looking dots, or you can use it to make lines that look as if they've been sketched. Now if I have a larger tip with the air pen, I can have a, more, a larger variety of thin to thick lines, but I'm just keeping with this fairly small size to be able to do some lines that might look like pen and ink work. And since I'm using this particular type of easy stroke glaze, it just takes one coat, and so I can work fairly thinly even with the air pen to be able to get a nice result. When you fire these glazes, depending on the type of glaze it is, the French Dimension 
glaze, for example, will fire to be raised from the surface, and so it's really good for making dots. And as I mentioned before about the intricate areas in a bisque piece, here's a tile with raised areas. So the tip of the air pen allows you to get in and around all those very small areas. And here you're able to see the dimension too.